Hi Kayo and welcome to my home. My name is Madeline Hudson and I am a designer and content creator. I started my career as a artist, actually I studied painting and drawing. And from there I went into a career of apparel design, which then led me into marketing at an ad agency and I did photo art direction and content creation. And then um, right before and around the pandemic, I um, got asked to start doing design projects and residential interior design. And now I do that as well as interior styling. So my husband and I bought this limestone townhouse in Brooklyn, New York in April of this year. So we've been in it, I think, what is that, four or five months now. We had just finished renovating a house in upstate New York in Hudson and ended up selling that and started looking for a project and home in Brooklyn because we wanted to be back in the city. And we looked at a ton of traditional brownstones and realized pretty quickly on that the renovation of a brownstone was going to be a bit too much for us to tackle and um, financially handle. So we started looking for a home that felt like it needed um, cosmetic updates. We also really loved the idea of owning something that was a bit different than a brownstone. I would say that my personal design style and the style of this home is um, textured, layered, and a big focus on specifically Art Deco, but early 19th or 20th century pieces. I feel very inspired by interiors that feel collected and I like to um, use that word a lot when I'm talking with clients or, or my design team and working on projects. We love a home to feel very curated, collected, but cozy. You know, I don't want design to feel stuffy, unapproachable. All of our design projects have a layered and textured feel to them um, with a lot of Art Deco and mid-century touches. These chairs are probably my favorite, most recent find. I did find them on Kayo, and I had been searching for a set of Joseph Hoffman uh, original like, Art Deco dining chairs and found these on there and immediately purchased them and had them delivered five days later and was like absolutely in love. They still have the original, um, I guess it would be like 1930s fabric and they are, they are such a cherished piece in my home and something that's really influenced the design of the townhouse in general. These lights I have had for a few years now, and they were one of my first cherished vintage pieces. Um, they are called the Pipistrello lamp, and I believe they're like a 1960s, 70s design by a female Italian designer. I um, actually did a trade for these. I like brokered them somehow. I don't know how. I think they just didn't know quite what they were worth. And um, yeah, I love them. I feel like they really add so much drama to a space. These coffee tables I bought from a um, dealer in Canada, actually, and got them delivered to upstate New York. Uh, they are a red travertine, probably from the 80s, she said. They were like a custom piece. She is amazing at refinishing marble um, and getting it to a really beautiful home finish. I have been looking for a red coffee table setup to go on top of a red rug um, for a long time and was really, really excited to find these and purchase them. Old things are cool because they have such a rich history. I think for me, I love owning pre-owned or pre-used, I guess, um, objects and furniture just because uh, they were once cherished in someone else's home and it's kind of fun to give them a new life and, and get to cherish them once again. I would say the worst design faux pas is just aimlessly following trends and not having your own point of view. I think taking the time, like you would a wardrobe, to 
really figure out what your aesthetic is will only kind of help give you that direction and it's, it's well worth the effort. The two things that I think really help elevate a space, whether it's a space that you own or a space you rent, is to change out the lighting. Um, a lot of builder grade lighting is not going to help elevate the space as much as something vintage or um, found or curated or collected, whatever it is, um, will. Another thing is, I think, personally, hanging your curtains from the ceiling, so floor to ceiling curtain lights really elevate a space. One thing I like about getting older is um, the confidence that comes with it. I love feeling good in my home, good in my skin. I love being able to choose where to live. And I think all of those things are such a privilege to getting older.